Have you ever been bungee jumping? You walk up to the edge, put your hands up, and you look down ready to drive, and you think, ready, ready to dive, and you think, what brilliant mind came up with this idea? <laughs> well, it actually comes from the Pentecost Island. It was, an old, it was a traditional ritual where you would attach vines to your ankles and you would jump, jump from a 21-meter tower and the goal was to hit your head on the ground but not hurt yourself. It proved you were a real man. Aren't you glad you don't have to prove your manhood that way or your womanhood? In our brilliance, we have taken that and instead of a vine, we attach a big rubber band because we want to hit our head a few times, not just once. <laughs> no, really, it's for entertainment, right? What's more fun than bouncing at the end of, end of a huge rubber band? Now, po uh, Japan gave us Pokemon Go just recently. We have grown-ups roaming the neighborhood, grown men roaming the neighborhood, chasing mystical creatures. Kind of puts into question their manhood. <laughs> I don't know what went wrong because I took the first bungee jump to Japan years ago to help with their manhood. <laughs> I am what you call a bungee jump master. I'm trained. I have the authority to push, I mean, help people <laughs> jump from this tower. These poor souls, they would come to me, pay me money, and I would put them in a harness, hook them to the big rubber band, and help them jump. The first few feet of this cord, the, the big rubber band, is covered with this yellow pad. It's to keep the cord from not hanging you as you're bouncing around. The brave ones, they take that pad and they lock it in their knees and they jump head first. The scared ones, they hug it and you have to literally pull them to the edge. <laughs> now, Bill Engvall, he does, he's a cowboy comedian. He does a scene or a skit where he's talking about bungee jumping. He saw a video once where the cord broke on a guy. The guy doesn't even know it. He's yelling at his buddies, woohoo, look at me, this is awesome. As a bungee jump master, what do you say to the next guy in line? <laughs> okay, dude, you're up. <laughs> now back to that scared little person in Japan that just hugging the, the stuffing out of that pad. You pull him up there. This is the conversation that went on for years. Well, a couple of years. Ideska, are you ready? And they go, uh-huh. And I would say, Segudo? And they would go, uh-huh. What does Segudo mean? Are you sure? In Spanish. Do you see the problem? <laughs> the adrenaline rushing through their veins? They didn't care what language I was saying. It was just, uh-huh. Now, at the bottom of this tower, there was an air mat. It was one of those those stuntmen air mats. Theoretically, you could jump from the top of this tower, hit the mat, and be okay. When things got slow, when you're lonely up at the top of the tower as a bungee jump master, the brilliant mind wanders. <laughs> and it wonders, can I do it? Is it going to hurt? Now, I'm too chicken to do it from the top, but no, no fear. The, the brilliant mind's still going. Okay, I can hook me into the cord and then wait for the bouncing to stop, unhook me and fall, from the mat, fall to the mat. It's only about two-thirds high, so it's probably five stories high. But I couldn't unhook myself. But never fear, that brilliant mind is still going. Have these little straps. I could make hand loops... And that would be the handles. I could jump just holding on to the cord. <laughs> then when the bouncing stops, let go. Brilliant, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm at the edge of the, 
the tower, hanging on with my hands, and I'm going, are you ready? Uh Uh-huh. Think you can hold on? Uh Uh-huh. Are you sure? I didn't care. Segudo? I didn't care what language it was either. It's time to jump. And I jump. Obviously, everything was okay. I was able to hang on. I waited for the bounding to stop. But my brilliant mind did not go far enough. It's time to let go. Now picture, I'm hanging at the end of a stretched out big rubber band. What's going to happen when I let go? I let go, and bam, on the mat. And the thing shoots up and goes clang, clang, bang, bang, bang on the tower. Everybody from the park comes running over to see what just happened and if everybody was okay. I'm crawling out of this air mat, looking at everybody. I don't know that there's a moral to the story other than don't let your brilliant mind get you in trouble. (laughs) 